Yo, what's up, people of YouTube? Soros Crossing here. Finally bringing you back the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles episode reviews. Because it took them freaking forever to start this up again. Like, it's been like, what, two? No, not... Yeah, like two months since episode 12. Um, I don't know, this has been forever. Gosh, I didn't even know the reason. And, and the stupid thing is that it's only three more episodes. And, no. Okay, so this episode plus two more. and uh, No. Two episodes after this one is the season finale. So, basically, it's going to go this week, next week, and the week after that, and then we're in another break from it until season two. Like, they don't even have a release date for season two yet. Which is stupid, because, I mean, that, that means we don't really get a lot, of, a lot to watch. They might as well just have finished this already. Like, it's stupid to wait and have that long of a wait just to finish season one. But anyways, enough of that rambling and stuff, nonsense. Let's get to the episode, shall we? Yeah. Okay, so this episode was actually... I don't know, like, it was weird and cool in the sense that freaking Splinter, we see, like, how strong and powerful he really is. Um, basically, this whole episode started uh, with uh, Dr. Victor, which, if anyone remembers, is the same guy who was in the... Well, what other episode was it, like, six or seven? The one with the monkey, the telepathic monkey. Um, like the doctor that was actually helping, you know, the one that made him a monkey. Um, like he actually came back and then he was experimenting in the sewers with like rats and like mixing chemicals and, and stuff. And then like the freaking rats, you know, they're rats, so they don't really know anything except like fighting stuff and destroying everything. And, you know, being vermins, obviously, but, um, and the freaking thing exploded, and so he kind of turned into a freak. Uh, I mean, I'm, I don't really know, like, what he was supposed to be, because it looked all skeletal, so, I don't know, maybe it's like, he burned his skin off or something, I don't know, like, the point, the point of it is that he was able to telepathically communicate with the rats. And so, throughout the episode, he literally, like, in order to get rid of the turtles, he tried to, he basically tried to control Splinter, um, with his new abilities. Um, now, aside from that, you know, we, uh, we see them train, like, you know how the turtles are always training. So, they were training with Splinter, and, you know, uh, Leo actually got a hit in. Like, he was the only one that got a hit in. Um, and Splinter was, you know, I, I I'm kind of glad that, you know, hey, they're, they're getting better. Um, and, of course, they, they actually said something which is kind of, like, a, I see it as a theme in a lot of um, shows uh, that have this kind of, uh, I don't know, like, a, a teacher and the students. Like, the whole purpose of you being a teacher is that the students get better than you. Like, that's the way I've seen it in, like, multiple shows. Um, so they were talking about how one day they might be better than Splinter, and I was like, that's pretty cool, like how they actually know that they can be better. Like that's the whole point, that they have to be better. Um, so the freaking, you know, the rat, you know, he actually ended up calling himself the Rat King. Dr. Victor said, you know, Dr. Victor's not going to work. I will be the Rat King. Um, and he started sending his rat to infest the town, basically running out a lot of people from New York, which I think is stupid considering, like, Rats are easy to kill, in a way. And and also, like, I mean, I guess it's just for the purpose of the episode, but, um, I didn't really know people were so scared of rats. Like, I, I don't, I'm not scared, I freaking hate them. They're disgusting, they die. But, uh, I don't know, whatever. That, that's besides the point. Um, uh, that, that, this really hasn't anything to do with the episode. Um, of course, you know, you know, the the guys found out because April called uh, Donnie. It's just funny. Like he has a personal ringtone for her. I thought that was hilarious. Like everybody laughed, everybody mocked him because of that ringtone. Um, but I thought it was it, it's adorable, but it's still bestiality in a way. So I kind of don't approve it. That's besides the point. We don't need to talk about that. Um. So you know. Um, like, since, uh, Splinter was trying to be, you know, they would, uh, Victor was trying to control Splinter, he actually goes into a meditation state 
to where he's actually fighting uh, Victor inside his mind, which I thought that was well played. Like, I actually liked that whole sequence of Splinter actually being inside his own mind, fighting off against this intruder that's trying to control him. Like, I thought that was cool. That, like, I feel like that's something that only, like, people who meditate throughout their whole life can actually achieve, like, spiritual alignment, I guess. But, I, I don't know, I like that. I like the fact that they actually implemented that Splinter himself is highly skilled to be able to do something like that. Um, but eventually, of course, you know, it, it kind of fails. Like, he actually ends up losing control and uh, kind of attacked April, and I was kind of shocked that April was able to skillfully dodge everything he was doing. I mean, I know she's in training, but, like, to be that good already... I don't know, and it was weird. Like, in my opinion, it was really weird how she was that good already. Um, not even the guys are that good yet, which is ridiculous, because they've been doing it longer. But anyway, so, like, before all that all that happened, like, he actually sent them to where uh, Victor was. And uh, so they get over, when they finally get over there, um, you know... Splinter's already under his control, and so he actually shows up there. Because April calls Donnie again with that stupid retail. Um, and so they find out that Splinter is actually gone, so they wonder why. And then, you know, Splinter just shows up out of nowhere. He's like, I'm right here. I'm right here, bros. I'm right here. Uh, I don't know. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, okay. Um, also, a side note, you know, we know how Mikey is the name, he, he gives, he's the nickname giver to all the, all the villains. He was actually mad, like, I thought that was funny, like, he was mad because Victor gave himself a name, and Mikey was all, that's a stupid name, and he started coming out with, like, stupid names too, like, Radzilla, and, I don't know, like, a bunch of random ass names. I don't know, like, like, I like the fact that Mikey is that designated he he has that character. Like I I give the names, but anyway, so like the fight between for, you know, the guys and Splinter was actually pretty good. I actually did not mind it. Like they actually worked as a team. Mind you, they got their asses whooped, and Leo was the one that was about to be killed, which to me makes sense considering he's the leader. I guess that's why he was the one that they chose to be. But anyways, like, he he, he kind of talked to Splinter as a father, like, how, as a son. So he tried to get Splinter back. And it kind of worked for a second. So the guys actually was able, were able to kind of trap him. But, uh, you know, Victor just decided to boost up the control to where he kind of, like, deflected everybody off and then went to kill Don or Leo again. And, uh, right before, right before he's about to kill Leo, uh, he breaks free and goes to attack, uh, Victor. And I gotta say, that was, this was the best scene in the entire episode. Like, he just, like, two fingers just struck, like, just struck it. I didn't even think he actually hit him. And he freaking goes flying. And I'm like, whoa! That is awesome. Like... That that right there was the coolest part of the entire episode. Just that two finger strike was amazing. It, like it it to me it reminded me of back in freaking Bleach when uh, Ichigo's dad freaking flicked his finger at Aizen and Aizen flew like three miles. I don't know, that's exaggerating, but he he was like hit so far and I'm like homage oh, right there. Said so, like obviously it wasn't. So it's, you know, it's supposed to be related, but I related it to that. Also, as a side note, I like the message that Splinter gave in the end, because I, I've heard it before, and I actually do like that saying, where he, where, you know, Leo obviously, you know, said that, you know, one day they, they actually could be able to beat Splinter, and Splinter goes, you know, everything you know, I have taught you. But I haven't taught you everything I know. Like he and he did a move and freaking sent Leo flying to the wall. And I like that. I like the fact that you know Splinter still can show his dominance over his sons. Like they're not ready. You know, basically the way I see it is that they themselves have to come up with moves 
in order to kind of counter Splinter, like moves that he doesn't know. And maybe they can beat him there. But at, at, overall, I really did like this episode. I'm kind of upset that they took so long to show it because I would have liked it a long-ass time ago. Um, of course, like I said, there's only two episodes left for the season finale. So I, th I think it's like, what, February... February, 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 something like next week is is that's like the semi-final episode of the season. So I don't know. And like I said, they don't have a release date for season two, so we don't even know about that. Um. So yeah. Uh. Thanks for watching this review. You know, let me know down below what you thought of it. What part of the episode was your favorite? Are you upset? As, you know, are you kind of mad like me where it took them for almost two months to show this? I don't know. Like, I felt like that's way too long. Like, they did, they, they, there's no reason for that. There was no reason for that long break. Um, so yeah, like, just let me know down below what you thought of the episode, what you, how much you liked it, and, uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you next week. Um, I, from what I understand, like, they're gonna go back to the old schedule, because I know that this episode technically came out Friday, but I actually didn't watch it until today, because I actually didn't know that the episode aired, like, I had to find out through, like, my research, because I actually didn't look till yesterday, and by the time I looked at it, it was the episode had already aired, so I watched it today. So I'm, but from what I understand, the schedule will go back on Saturday at uh, when it comes on. So yeah, so hopefully I'll be able to upload it the day it actually comes out for you guys. So again, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.